Man, look, I reinvent myself every day. I'm fresh. This ain't no act. I can be fresh next year and the year after that. I just keep being fly like I was this year. It ain't no thing. I don't care what no critics say. Tell them they can suck my dick. Herzlich willkommen auf dem Open Air Frauenfeld. Wir sind immer noch hier. Mein Name ist Aria. Ich stehe neben Ray Schremmerd. How was your performance, man? Man, it was so crazy, man. Switzerland, man, it felt like a family, you know what I'm saying? They knew all the lyrics. They was just glad to see us dance around, throw water, you know what I'm saying? It was a movie. I heard everybody was on stage. Ludacris was enjoying it. It was uh, all those artists came and watched us. That was that was great, man. Shout out to everybody performing, all the talent. Shout out August Alcina. What a crazy feeling, though, right? Yeah. Seeing Ludacris back at your stage enjoying the show. That's tight. It's tight. It let us know that we're doing the right thing because Luda wants to watch. I mean, your life just changed from zero to 100 since no flex zone yeah what has changed since then the girls got way finer and like we we got freakier. some money swim life yeah. and freakier the girls yeah they were freakier and more interactive Good. <laughs> also here on the festival yeah wait what'd you say here on the festival as well Oh yeah, that's what I mean. At the festival, like they were interactive, like they were just okay. like, if I would have went to the crowd, like they would have snatched me up and ate me alive. Well, that happened to Travis Scott on the first day. They snatched his Easy Boost. Oh my God, I can imagine the pain. They snatched his, his pain. Boost. His pain. Yeah, I'm saying I feel for him. That's my boy. I feel for him, man. Well, he made the guy uh, get him bed up, beat up in the crowd. He, he spit at him, and people just fucked him up. That's my nigga. You feel his pain as well? The guy's pain? No, he shouldn't have snatched him. <laughs> we don't feel that kind of pain. <laughs> Man, you two are so young, uh, just beginning 20, 22? No, sir, I'm 19. You're 19? 19, 19 swagging. That's crazy, man. I'm, I'm the one interviewing you. I'm a couple of years older than you. Yeah, I'm about to be 19. And then when I'm 19, hopefully I get a little taller. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, man. I've seen a lot of stars that are very small. I think Kanye's like not yeah, really. Ka yeah, Kanye, he's tall, like me too. Yeah? Me and Kanye are both tall. Yeah, he's tall. He's pretty tall. I've seen him in person a few times. He's pretty tall to me. Just like us. We are too. When you think about what's, what's coming up in the future in your career, are you excited or are you scared? Like, yo, we got two platinum CDs on the wall already. What's coming? What's, what is there to come? Every night, like, different nights I have the same dream. And it's just like of all the crazy stuff that's happened in my life and I can't so far like all the dreams that I've had they've came to life like making no flex on and just coming up crazy platinum songs and stuff so I know these dreams ain't lying to the kid. Um I'm trying to go platinum again and again and again yeah. and again yeah. and again and again so I can fuck an even better bitch. I just talked to Vince Staples, uh he's 22. I asked him, uh, is there no, you know, You do different things when you're 22 usually. You just gathering the experiences as a rapper that you that you will be rapping about when you're 27 and going through the roof. Yeah. But you're 19 already. So what's up with gathering experiences now, man? It's just total different experiences that you True. gather on tour that you would on streets. Like every day is a journey, you know what I'm saying? Just like I'm 19. That's what the world says my age says. Okay. But in real life I've been living like I'm about 32 like like by life experiences and by like goals and by accomplishments and you know what I'm saying, by success, like I'm really like 35 or something, like, <laughs> it's crazy. I'm 19, but I fuck like I'm 40. That's what I be telling the women. <laughs> I mean, uh, normally when people do a sound like yours, like, you know, fun stuff, people, there are many critics, like, right, yeah. right? They say you can sing right, you, you try to rap like this and that. But I feel your sound has so much fun. Even critics have fun. They don't even dare to say anything. They don't even, everybody's enjoying No Flex Zone, No mm -hmm. Type. So much enjoyment in your music, man. That's I, one thing about it. Like, we always try to spread the good energy. Like, one thing about it, no matter what song we make, no matter what we're talking about, we try to give it a good feel to it, like where somebody can just relate to it, you know what I'm saying? And just turn up to it no matter where they at. So it's like, I guess that's why, like, nobody, like, it's, like, negative towards our creations, you know what I'm saying, towards our arts, because it's just, like, so undeniable. One thing critics say though is uh, your sound might be a little trend that will be over so you will have to reinvent yourself at some point. Man, look, I reinvent myself every day. I'm fresh. This ain't no act. I can be fresh next year and the year after that. I just keep being fly like I was this year. It ain't no thing. I don't care what no critics say. Tell them they can suck my dick. I mean, I talked to DJ Premier a couple of days ago. He never changed his style. People exactly. Hey, when it's a fresh and it's original, it don't yes. gotta change. 
If you change your style, you're a whole new person. Just elevate your style and just have your have your style evolve. That's all you got to do. You already working on a new album? I heard it's coming up December. You're aiming for it. You're on your stuff. This guy's on his stuff. When you get into the money, this is how I feel. No, we got like bangers coming. <laughs> bangers, okay? Any names? We got some shit with Amigos. We got some shit with Wiz Khalifa coming. Like, I don't want to spoil the surprise. You got any name for the album already? I'm thinking some. I can't. I can't say it now because somebody probably steal it. King of Olympia. Kings of Olympia. There's so many ideas. <laughs> we gonna say, we gonna say <laughs> uh, make them panties drop to the floor one. Okay. Uh, Mike Will made on the production. The fucking man, Mike Will made it has several production credits on this album because he's a fucking monster. You know what I'm saying? But. We reaching out to like a, diff a lot of different um, producers, man. She's gonna have some crazy sounds, like off the wall shit. I mean, when you're signed to a producer, it's all much different because it sounds so organic. You know, the producer mm -hmm. signs an artist, and he already knows what sound they're aiming for. Right. When we sound, we signed with him. We like, we knew what we were, we were in for. It's like the heavy 808, the crazy melodies. You know what I'm saying? And it's what we loved. Like before we met Mike Will, like we were listening to Mike Will from Tupelo, Mississippi, in America. We were listening to Mike Will. We were like, I always wanted to work with Mike Will. And then we finally had the blessing of meeting Mike Will in Atlanta and working with Mike Will. And like now we're ear drummers, Ray Shimmer backwards. Uh, I see you're leaving, man. I thought he would stay, like, for Kendrick, maybe? Oh, yeah, Kendrick's my homie, man. That's, like, that's a legend right there. He unlocked the swag. But you're not staying to see him perform? <laughs> I definitely am. I definitely am. Really? Yeah, I took my shirt off. I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm staying for the lovely ladies and the great drinks. Okay, two different things, man. Uh, did you see anybody? Did you see Ludacris, for example? Saw Ludacris, man. That was crazy. You know what I'm saying? That's always, I've always been a fan of Ludacris. He turned the crowd up. The crowd was with him. Like, it was crazy. I mean, again, you're 19, and when you perform, you get the crowd turned up, everybody turned up. So yeah. what can you even learn from looking at veterans on stage? Is there anything you look at and you be like, okay, that, that mm -hmm. would be great for my show? Definitely. Like, I just learned, like, crowd control. You know what I'm saying? And I learned how to, like, just say, just make sure you're interacting with the crowd. Make sure they know you're a person. All right, man. Oh, who are you? Change your outfit. <laughs> it's Jay Shrill, man. Oh. <laughs> the freshest DJ alive. The DJ for Ray Shrimmer, Shrim Life. I just want to give a shout out to all the Switzerland fans, man, that purchased the album, man. Y'all purchase the next album, and we gonna keep making music. And we got some trap music coming for y'all too. Uh, Jay Shrim. All right, thanks for your time, man. Thank you, man. We Have fun. See yeah. Thank you, Switzerland. We love you. <laughs>